Our next guest is a talented actor you know from the show The Get Down, as well as movies like Pokemon, Detective Pikachu, and the Jurassic World franchise. He stars in Sharper, which is in select theaters February 10th, and on Apple TV Plus February 17th. Let's take a look. I can give you the money. What? It's in the bank. I can just go make a withdrawal. You wouldn't have to rob it. I, I don't understand. You, you, you live at home. You, you work in a bookstore. No, I own a bookstore. How do you think I managed to keep it open? All that place does is lose money. You're saying you have that money just, just sitting in a bank? Yeah, more. Yeah, my father has money. Please welcome to the show, Justice Smith, everybody. so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. I, I know just, you uh, You just got uh, off a plane from London. Yeah, that's what I was just about to say. Oh, yeah. that's I'm, I'm a little lost. Okay, but good. We're going to get you. We're going to bring you right back into the Eastern okay. time zone. Because you used to live in New York. Yeah, I did. I lived here for about two years. I was shooting The Get Down that you uh, mentioned. And uh, I was staying with... Uh, Oh, actually, there was another time I was living here when I was doing a play. I okay. lived here for so many lifetimes. Yeah, I was doing this play, and I didn't have anywhere to stay. My friend was like, oh, yeah, you can stay in my apartment, but I, I got to let you know, I have roaches. Yeah, That's very, kind of the caveat. I, it's a very nice thing for somebody to be <laughs> honest about. Yes, yeah. exactly. And she's like, but they're mostly in the bathroom, so just try to avoid them in the bathroom. And I was like, okay, that's fine. I've, I've, I've dealt with worse. I, I get there. You know, it's a nice place. Uh, there are roaches in the bathroom. I kill them all. I manage to take a shower, and they just come right back. So I'm like, cool, I'll take a shower at my friend's house from now on. Uh, but living there for a couple days, I just started seeing more roaches in the kitchen and in the living room. And I was like, okay, I got to get an actual Airbnb and get out of here. And uh, I go to sleep that night that I make that decision. And about, like, at 5.30, I wake up, like, almost reflexively. I go, <sighs> and... I, I open my eyes and I see a long, skinny roach just pop onto the pillow next to me. And I'm like, nope. And I like, get out of bed, immediately pack my stuff. And they were starting to like all swarm. Like they felt me leaving. You, yeah. So they're like I'm, coming out like the, of the corners of the apartment. I'm wondering if the one in the nose was like, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> I heard that guy's getting a real Airbnb. I can't live here anymore. It's full of roaches. Yeah, so gotta... he was trying to hitch a ride. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so in this film, um, it's about a bunch of people who are very good at deception, uh, using uh, deception uh, uh, to uh, enrich themselves. Mm -hmm. Are you the kind of person that, are you a good liar? No. Okay. No, I, Do you um, have tells? Is there a thing people could see in you if you're lying badly? I cry. Oh, I, wow. <laughs> I laugh. You know, I laugh a lot when I'm nervous, and so I'll probably be laughing throughout this. But uh, I, uh, yeah, when I was a kid, I was a really good liar. Uh -huh. um, I would lie about all kinds of stuff, just because I thought it was funny. Um, <laughs> and that's how I knew I wanted to be an actor. <laughs> but, uh, but like, I remember lying to my mom that I like, broke my arm, and like, I came in, I'm like, Mom, <laughs> it hurts so bad. She's like, what happened, what happened? I was like, I don't know, but <laughs> what did I say? We should have saved 15% on health insurance by switching to Geico. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. It was a popular commercial at the yeah, time. Yeah, 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 sure. It's, Car insurance. It, that joke doesn't even work. Yeah. But well, I think uh, I got to be honest. I bet being a parent now, no matter what the punchline is, as a parent, I'd be pretty bummed if you said you had a fake broken arm. <laughs> <laughs> I used to do all kinds of stuff. I used to pretend I was sick by like making vomiting noises and then dumping my mom's perfumes in the toilet. Oh, wow. And, like it's, you could hear the impact. They I was must. A by the way, mind. they must be so happy you got out of the house, even if. Yeah. <laughs> They were like, oh, he's with roaches, like, he's not coming back here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. Um, you got to work with some incredible actors in this film. You've also worked, you've also done a lot of CGI work. I mean, we mentioned yeah. Jurassic uh, World and we mentioned uh, Detective Pikachu. Yeah. What, a lot of scenes with, uh, with Pikachu. What were you actually acting with in those scenes? Um, a lot of puppets, a lot, like men in green suits, like green body suits, like kneeling. Uh -huh. <laughs> like operating this puppet, uh, but then we would, we would have to do three takes for every single scene that we would do. So it would start off with the puppet and then it would switch to like a, like a ball, like a reference ball. And then it would switch to like tape marks. And so I had to uh, like focus on where Pikachu's eye line was and when he would move on which line. And it was, it was really difficult, but the director made a, a point to try to make us feel as immersed as possible. So a lot of stuff was, was practical on both of those movies, on, on Pokemon and Jurassic. But, uh, Do you feel at some point it, it actually helps to 
B, have that technical side that then releases you to actually act more naturally, or, or is it a hindrance? That's a really good question. Well, Seth, I'm full um, of them, you know? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. I, 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 I feel like I got a lot of practice that, uh, f like of that imagining my surroundings in acting school, you know? Yeah. Like, you don't really work off of like people when you do monologue work. Of course, you know? yeah. Like, did you go to acting school? No, I didn't, oh. yeah. <laughs> Which I've been told at many an audition. <laughs> They say it just like that. They're That's like, mean. No, they say it like this. They go, you didn't go to acting school, did you? <laughs> that's so hard. That's so Now, your parents are uh, both singers, correct? Yes, that's right. Now, is this something they, did they want uh, singing as a path for you? Yeah, that's actually why my name is what it is, because my mom thought like I would be a famous singer and then they would shout like, we want justice. We oh, wow. Justice, while they were waiting for me. She was really planning ahead. Yeah, she was. <laughs> she really was. But uh, yeah, growing up with singers as parents was great because you know there's music around the house all the time, but they also like wouldn't let me sing in the car like unless they'd be like, "Where's your tone? Like use your diaphragm." Oh wow, like, this is lame. I don't want to do this. Yeah. So I, I rebelled and and I became an actor instead. I would imagine they're somewhat satisfied. At least you're in the arts. No, they hate it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? They should have let you sing in the car. <laughs> exactly. There you go. There you go. Hey, thanks so much for being here, yeah, man. It's great. really a pleasure to meet you. That's Justice Smith Sharper. He's been selected. It's February 10th, and I'm on TV February 17th. We'll be right back with music from the Genius Spectre.